Hello guys, today we're going to be telling you the best VPN for Netflix. Um, so technically the best VPN router for Netflix. And I've picked up this one here and you can see it on the screen. It comes in four colours and we'll get into that a bit later. Um, this is not just a normal router, it's tiny, it's a bit, a bit smaller than your hand. Um, you can do an open VPN um, v, um, setup, um, we'll show you that too. You can do a tethering hotspot, so if you're abroad or gone somewhere, you can set up the VPN as well as it has, you can do 300 megabits. Now there's two, two to three versions I'm pretty sure. One is, as you can see at the moment, with the antennas built in. You can get that one, that's an extra $10. So the normal price is about $19.99. Uh, so that's pretty good, 20 bucks. Um, if you want the antenna version, that is gonna cost you $30. Or you have the option to have the two, uh, one WAC and one internet if you want that and that's the same price at $30 too uh, Now this is called the G GL INET 300M a mini router now It's pretty good and it's super easy to set up now if you want American Netflix This is the router for you Not just that you can it's so easy. You just um, you got a, over 20 VPNs you, you can choose from um, I recommend ExpressVPN for this because they used to have Cactus VPN used to work for Netflix, but it's been blocked. Yeah, so it got blocked a couple of weeks ago, so I had to cancel Cactus and join Express. So ExpressVPN 100% works. Um, I'll be making a video on how to do this on the Roku, showing you the setup and all that um, on the Roku later the week. Um, yeah, so it's really good. Now, in a couple of seconds, we're gonna show you the setup sort of thing with a couple of pictures we took on our, our computer. So it has a USB. Um, you can also set up a spy cam on it, which is pretty cool which for a little mini router to do that You just um, plug in a little camera into the USB port on the router. So this is the um, VPN side of things. So what you do there you just click on the green bit and then it will open your files now to download it just download it just under media files on ExpressVPN download that if you need help with it send us a comment down below and we'll make a video on it um, yeah, so, um, and this is all your VPN. Um, as you can see, these are all the VPNs and all that. And it's super easy. Um, yeah, so um, you can have heaps of VPNs. Like, you could have like six different VPN services, as uh, long as you don't run out of storage. Um, it does say in the box how much gig it is, or does it? Okay, I don't see it on the box. I don't know how much storage it is, but there is a limit on how much stuff you can put on the router. Um, you can add more storage. How you do that is just add a hard drive with the USB port and obviously there. You could have like 16 gigs worth of uh, VPNs set up on here. Um, only 20 VPNs are currently supported. Um, so we'll have the link down below if I can find it. So you can look into it, see how many links and all that. It has really cool services like cloud. Like if you have all your movies on your computer, you can cloud it. So it's on your Roku and all that sort of stuff. So it's a really good router for $20. I highly recommend it and I bought it off Amazon and it's a great, uh, when I bought it, it's the best thing, uh, best VPN I've even had, ever had. It's better, even better than the um, Linksys 1200 AC. With the Linksys 1200 AC, the only VPN I could get on that is ExpressVPN, which was a bit disappointing because um, that's the only VPN I could get on it. But with this, you can have 20 different VPNs. Your choice, you can choose which ones you, what VPNs you want what VPNs you want to get, so you can always um, flick through them, get out of them, and resubscribe to different ones. So, hope this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and hopefully you can get your American Netflix.